what I really enjoy about this type of discussion, though, Sue, is one, it's the story of your career, but it's also the story of oncology. You are just a remarkable inspiration, period, as a physician, as a, as a business leader. I have been a fan of yours Thank for you. so long. People felt like you just needed to hit the cancer hard. You just needed to hit the cancer smart. <laughs> hard wasn't the point. A lot of people might not realize you're on the board of OpenAI and you're the only person in medicine on that board. I think using AI more and more on pieces of the clinical trials process so that if something takes time, it's because it's benefiting a human. The other thing is you and I both know if you have 500 patients in a trial and you look at safety, that's so limited. Yep. Why don't we follow safety in every patient? On the exactly. Drug? Ongoing. Ongoing. So I think the opportunities in clinical trials are massive. Do you think this is the most important thing that from a promise perspective that AI is, has brought to medicine since? So far. Yeah, yeah I okay. do. So far. Yeah. And, and so what do you think would be the next mega unlock? I define culture in a really specific way, um, that when you come to work, you feel like the atmosphere, the, the surround sound brings out the best in you, mm. and that you have some ownership of tweaking it if it doesn't.